Emily's new coaches. Thomas the Tank Engine was finishing his jobs on the branch line. He brought Annie and Claire back to the, the yards and went to Tipman Station. A new engine arrived from the museum at York. He wanted to say hello. The engine looked amorizing. And with an emerald coat and a gleam blast dome. Thomas, says the top of her, meet Emily. Hello, it's nice to meet you, said Thomas. It's nice to meet you too, replied Emily. You're the engine which Green Arrow told me about, right? Yes, said Thomas. I'm on the engine which rescued James from an accident and went to the museum. Very impressive, said Emily. Emily, collect your coaches, please, orders the top of hat. You and your driver must learn the rope on the main line. Right away, sir, said Emily. Thomas was impressed with the new engine. But as Emily arrived at the yard, her driver could only find Annie and Clubber. These guys aren't the type of coaches we're looking for, he said. But I think we'll do. How dare they say we'll do? Clever whispered, feeling overthelted. He made us shamed, Annie added. As Emily collected Annie and Clever, she made her way. Any clever on the other hand was still efficient. How dare they say we'll do? He made us a shed. How dare he will say we'll do? How he made us a shame. They fussed. Emily passed Elspud. Thomas was Thomas was there with some other coaches. Hello, Thomas, she called kindly, but Thomas was cross. Those are my coaches, he replied. Give them back. But Emily, Emily however, didn't hear him and went on away. She then passed Edward as Wellsworth. What do you do with Thomas's coaches, he called, but Emily didn't hear Edward. She passed them by Percy with some cause of building surprise to reboot the, the China Clay Woods. Those coaches belong to Thomas, he said. Whenever Emily whistled hello to the engines, they will pass as by all they could was. Those are Thomas's coaches! Which she didn't hear. She couldn't understand why they were being hoard. She felt sad. Later that day, Thomas arrived at Dentford. The fat controller was there. I need you to go to Vickers Town to pick up two new coaches. But sir! New coaches, but sir! Pleasant Thomas. Where he is, Roger? It's dog with the controls! It's the top of that order. Thomas was cross. Meanwhile, Emily finished her work. She arrived at that Timoth where all was wearing Isabel and Dochi. He was surprised when and he saw Emily, Polly, Annie, and Clarabelle. Those are uh, Thomas's coaches you're pulling, he said. No wonder why all the engines are cross. Emily realized. I'll go and apologize to Thomas right away. Thomas, however, was very cross. I don't want new coaches! I don't want new coaches! He huffed crossly. A little later, Emily was still looking for Thomas when a, a signal man had flagged and dang. Over stuck at the junction! He told to Emily's driver. Go and see what's the matter! Emily saw that Oliver broken down. 
Then the two engine, engines, Isabel and Dolly, and heard Thomas's whistle. Thomas saw Oliver up ahead, and he knew he was never able to be stopped in time. Oh, help! cried Oliver. And we charged towards Arthur. Oh, Oliver. With a huge effort, she pulled the Anna coaches off the points. She puffed and puffed and puffed and puffed just in time. Phew! So, thank you, Emily. Oh, come. Sigh, Emily. Soon, Duck arrived to take Isabel and Dolly, and Emily took all the went to the works to be mended. Later that day, as all was prepared, the tower had praised Emily. A fine piece of work, work Emily. He congratulated. You are very brave. The bravest, chuffed Oliver. It's even great pleasure to prevent you with two brand new coaches just for you, said Tabby Hannah. Thank you, sir, smiled Emily. I'm sorry I took your coaches, Thomas. And I'm sorry uh, I was cross, Thomas replied. So, can we be friends? asked Emily. Friends? Thomas replied in agreement. After that, Emily loved her coaches and soon made a friends with the other engines. But I mustn't say no more or I should spoil the next story.